Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> Up last night, Chester. Matt told me you were still asleep at nine o'clock this morning. Yeah, I was, and that was mighty kind of him not to wake me up. Too. Say, Doctor, are you sure? He said he'd be back this afternoon. Well, that's what he told me. Uh uh-uh. uh. Now, what in the world is that fella? Who? Hmm. Yeah, just came in the door. You see? With Tyler and Short there. Oh, him. Uh, well, that's Weed Pennell. He rode in on a mule a couple of days ago. Well, which has the bigger ears? Him or his mule? <laughs> he is funny looking all right, and he acts pretty peculiar, too. He had a scrawny mule, Pendle. I seen you on him this morning. Well, Pendle, here, he's kind of scrawny himself, short. Maybe some beer fattened him up a little. <laughs> I'd like some beer, all right, but I got no money. Well, why don't you just sell that guitar of yours? Sell my guitar? No, I'd never do that. Pendle, you must have a nickel at least. Last money I had got stolen. Now, who dare steal money off a tiger like you, Pendle? <laughs> I was asleep. I started to wake up, but they kicked me in the head. Oh, now, Pendle, you call that thing a head? Looks to me more like your neck just growed out and haired over. <laughs> I ain't very handsome. You <laughs> sure ain't. Hey, Bontana, three beers. Yes, you sir. You buying, Tyler? Oh, I'm proud to buy. Fine old soldier like Weed Pendle. How'd you know I was a soldier? Well, no, I didn't. Where was you a soldier, Pendle? Third Illinois Calvary. <laughs> Illinois. Here's with the Yankees. Here's your beers. I never done much. We had hard luck and never got to see no real Confederates at all. Just a bunch of ragged tail bushwhackers in South Missouri. They was led by an old chicken thief named McCly. Yeah, so they was. Tell me something else, Pendle. Did you ever get to kill any of Klein's men? A few. Before I got shot myself. They caught some of them after and hung them. But I never did see a hanging. You never did see one? Nowhere. I never did. That's so. Well, Pendle, you know you're in luck. Now, since we was all kind of in the war together, so to speak, I'm going to show you a hanging. You about ready, ain't you, Shaw? Yeah, my rope's on my saddle. I'll get it meet you out back. You going to be a hanging? A real hanging? Why, sure there is. And you're lucky, Pendle. You run into us just in time. Here, now, yeah. what you talking about, Tyler? And, and who are you going to hang? It's kind of a surprise, Chester. You can watch, though. Now, you know it's again the law to hang people around I here. I seen Marshal Dillon right out of town this morning. The time he gets back, it'll be all over. Don't you try to buck me in short, Chester. You die if you do. Come on, Pendle, come on. We don't want to miss it. Sure. Now, what do you suppose they're up to, Doc? I don't know, Chester, but uh, I'd sure like to find out. Yeah, I reckon we better. I sure do wish Mr. Dillon was here. Ah, there they are. Why, they're putting a rope around Pendle's neck. We're going to get to see all of the hanging, Pendle. Only just the start of it. What are you hanging me for? I ain't done nothing. You was in the 3rd Illinois Cavalry. Well, sure I was. We was fighting under that old chicken thief, Klein, in South Missouri. 
It's a real pleasure to hang a Yankee like you. But I only done what they told me to. I didn't kill nobody on purpose. Now, you just wait a minute, you two. You've gone far enough. Shoot him, Tyler. You go shooting anybody, and you'll be the ones to end up on a rope. Doc ain't armed. It never is. Go on, Tyler. All right, you try it, but you're sure going to have to kill me before you hang I'll anybody. kill you. You'll have to kill me, what? too, Tyler. Mr. Jones. Where'd he come from? Take your rope off that man's neck, short, and you do it quick. Sure, Marshal. Sure. I, I told you you shouldn't hang me. You were just funning him, Marshal. You wasn't going to hang me. What's this all about, Short? He's a Yankee, Marshal. Killed a lot of us in Missouri during the war. We was going to scare him and then run him off. You forget about that. You forget about the war, too. It's over. Next time I catch you up to anything like this, you'll go to jail. Go to jail? Over a dumb Yankee who don't own nothing but a skinny mule and a guitar? Get out of here, Short. You too, Tyler. Well, this Yankee better get out of here, too. Clean out a dog. Shut up. Get moving. See you later, Penny. I sure do thank you for letting me sleep in your jail last night, Marshal. Where you been sleeping before, Pendle? With my mule. I always do. Yeah. I hear you're broke. What do you do for a living? I never did nothing much, Marshal. Just ride around on my mule. What about your guitar? Don't you ever play and take up a collection or something? No, Marshal. I wouldn't do that. Why not? Can't you play good enough? I don't know, Marshal. I never played it for nobody to hear except me. Yeah. Uh, Chester, take him over to the Long Branch, will you? Maybe Sam can give him a job of some kind. It wouldn't be steady, would it? Well, I don't know, but uh, why shouldn't it be? Because I'll be leaving in a day or two. Oh? Where are you headed? Nowhere. Nowhere? Just ride around on my mule. I always do. Where are you from, anyway, Pendle? I was born in San Benito. Oh, on the Rio Grande, huh? Yes, but I left. Took my guitar with me. Never did go back. Well, if you're from Texas, how come you fought in the Union Army? I don't know. One army is just like another, I guess. <sighs> yeah, maybe you're right at that. i only done what they told me, Marshal. Sure. Uh, Chester, take him over to Sam's, would you? All right, sir. I left my guitar out back. I'll go get it. <laughs> you sure is a peculiar little fellow, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. I'm pretty helpless, too. You think Short and Tyler are bothering him anymore? Oh, no, and them. I believe they'd have hung him yesterday if they could. You tell Sam to let me know if they even start talking to him again. Huh? Yes, sir, I will. They're about the meanest pair of men I ever knew. Yeah, they are. Now, they'll think of something. Well, Pennell said he's leaving in a day or two. I just hope it's soon enough, Chester. Sam gave Weed Pendle a job sweeping up the saloon and let him live in a tiny shack out back. He tried to get him to play his guitar, but Pendle wouldn't do it. We all began to think that he probably didn't even know how. It's kind of hard to believe that anybody as simple as he was could learn to do anything. I looked up Short and Tyler, and I warned them again to leave him alone. And they did. Until one morning a couple of days later, Chester and I just come out of Delmonico's. We were walking up Front Street. Look yonder, Mr. Dillon, across the plaza there. Yeah, I see him. Now let's go over. Pindle and his mule... Yeah, and Tyler and Short, too. I told them to keep away from him. Hey, what they laughing at? Now they're laughing and he isn't. What do you suppose they've done to him? Look at his mule, Chester. That's what they've done. Oh, my goodness. Well, well he's lost the ear. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> At least I was here, big Well, I guess there's just no pleasing some men, Tom. You shouldn't have done that to my mule. <laughs> Did you men do this? Nope. Now, Marshal, we ain't done nothing to Pendle. Did they do this, Pendle? I tried to stop him, but Tyler held me. 
And they gave me the year, Marshal. It's right here, see? Yeah. All right, turn around, both of you. What? Turn around, I said. I take their guns, Chester. Yes, sir. Can't do nothing else, Marshal. We didn't hurt Pendle none. I don't like what you did to his mule. Here. I got him. All right, you can turn around now. I ought to cut an ear off each one of you, but I can't do that, so I'll do the next best thing. Hey, look, you can't. Leave him there, Chester. Kendall, I'm sorry about your mule. He ain't much of a mule anymore. Well, you go take care of him, huh? And maybe these two will leave you alone now. Poor mule. You know what Wade Pindle told me yesterday, Matt? Yeah, that could have been most anything, knowing him, Kitty. No, this kind of made sense. I asked him if he was ever lonely. He said, no. He never stayed anywhere long enough to get to know anybody that well. Uh, maybe he's not so strange after all. <laughs> oh, now what are they up to? Who? Tyler and Short. I just came in with Pindle. Look, Matt, he's got a guitar with him. Yeah. Hey, listen, everybody. Now, wait a minute. The little Yankee's going to play his guitar for us. At least he's going to try. Hey, she yank. Don't shoot my mule. Oh, yeah, I'm going to shoot your mule. Not if you play good enough. Go on. Get started. If you know how. <laughs> All right. I'll play. I'm going to certainly kill his mule, Matt. you got to stop him. Now, wait a minute, kid. Oh, man, Just sit quiet. I haven't seen I heard no Yankee. <laughs> Been playing that guitar a long time, that little Mary, ain't you, Pencil? They wanted me to. They liked it. Me and Short, we've been waiting to tell you how we like it, too. Yeah, let me see that guitar, Pendle. No, you hurt my mule. Give it to me. I got a gun in your belly, Pendle, don't you? I want my guitar. You can have it. I just want to sort of tune it for you first. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> yeah. And, you know, there's another thing that's wrong with this guitar. It's a little bit too big for a man like you. But I can fix that, too. <laughs> there you are, Yankee soldier. All right, that ought to alert it. Let's go now, Ken. <laughs> They both dead, Doc. Oh, yes. Real dead. For several hours, at least. Well, they must have been asleep when it happened, Doc. Well, it looks like Short there struggled a little way. Guess Tyler got his first and it woke Short up for a minute. Well, he wasn't awake very long, then. Just long enough to see who was cutting his throat, probably. Well, they can't talk now. No, I, I'm all through here. What do you want to do? We'll let the hotel worry about him. I guess it's Weed Pendle I want now. A man and him such a mild little fellow, too. Any man can take just so much, Chester. 
I sure hate to see poor Pendle hang for killing these two buzzards, Matt. Johnson, wait for me at the jail. I'll bring him over there as soon as I find him. Sam. What'll it be, Marshal? Where's Weed Pendle? I just sent him out back for a bucket of sawdust. What do you want him for? Short and tight, I got their throats cut early this morning. That's good. I guess they're smashing his guitar was too much for Pendle. That's so. There he is now. Pendle, come over here. Yes, sir. Morning, Marshal. Morning, Pendle. Pendle, where was you last night? I don't know. Here, I guess. You don't know? Wait a minute, Marshal. Where was you after they wrecked your guitar, Pendle? You know, I sat in the alley a while, and I come back in here. That's right. And he was so broke up about his guitar, I didn't want to leave him alone, so I put him on the floor of my room. Ain't that right, Pendle? Go on, and tell him now. Sure, that's right. Are you trying to alibi for him, Sam? Why, no, Martha. What do I care about him? Hey, some people care about me. Who? Oh, he's just talking, Marshal. Who cares about you, Pendle? Tell me. Those men. What men? He means some of the boys who was here when he came back with his busted guitar, Marshal. I just told him how sorry they was, that's all. Mm Mm-hmm. They liked his music, didn't they? They liked to hear me play. Who was in here then, Sam? Well, now, Marshal, you know how it is. I'm busy pouring drinks, and I don't pay no mind to who's here and who ain't. I couldn't rightly say it all. Okay, Sam, I guess I can't beat the truth out of you. Marshal, who cares about Tyler and Short? Dad is better off without There's a law against murder, Sam, and it's the same for everybody. And I'll be back later. What you going to do now, Mr. Dillon? Well, I've done all I can, Chester. The whole town's just plain quit talking. Nobody knows anything. I reckon they're all protecting Pendle. They are. But he didn't do it. Who mm-hmm. did? Yes. And if I could prove who did it, Chester, I'd have him in jail. Be another. Hmm. Chester, come over here a minute. I declare. Looks to me like he's leaving town. Yeah, I told him he could go. He looks funnier than ever on that poor old one-eared mule. Yeah. Dodge treated Pendle pretty rough. It sure did. Poor old fella. Looks kind of empty like that guitar, don't he? Yeah, well, maybe he'll find another one somewhere. Anyway, they sure like to hear him play in this town. Sam, I figure... A couple of the other boys in particular. Yeah, they liked it just fine. <laughs> 